Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for another episode of Reconnect to Your Greatness. Today I want to speak to you about the old expression, play the hand of cards that you were dealt. And, you know, I think many of us, uh, at least those of us who live in the United States of America, have heard that expression before, right? Hey, you got to make the best of the cards that you were dealt. Or, hey, these were the cards that I was dealt. And you know what? I do agree with that. I agree that we all grow up in different circumstances. We all grow up with different skills, talents, gifts, and abilities. We also grow up experiencing our own pain, our own setbacks, our own defeats, our own failures, our own losses. There's almost 8 billion people in this world, and so there's going to be 8 billion different experiences of life. And hey, that's what can make life beautiful. That's what can make life unique and different. If we all had the same experiences and we all like the same things, life would be boring, right? So there is absolute validity and truth behind the expression, hey, I got to play the cards that I was dealt. But, and if you can hang with me here, this is the part that can be life-changing for you. And that is this. What happens if I played that hand so well that I won? What if? What if I won? What if I was dealt a real crappy hand of cards, but I played them so well that I won the hand? See, I don't think life gives us just one hand of cards. I think that every single day is a new opportunity to either start to play our cards in a different way and or to win with those cards. And maybe the win doesn't happen in a day. Maybe the win doesn't happen overnight. But if we can be consciously progressing towards playing the, the cards that we've been dealt for the win, winning that hand, and then saying, guess what? I now deserve a new set of cards. And I think what can get so confusing about that is what does it mean to win? So we have to get clear about what it is that, and I don't even know if I'd like to use the word win, right? But at what point in time do we get to say, okay, I made the most of these cards. I did the very best I can with these cards. I don't think that Playing with these cards serves me anymore. I was able to take them, good or bad, I was able to use the most from them that I could to transform my life and making progress towards my life's mission. But I've now played these cards out. I've now won. And I'm putting these cards in and I'm getting another set of cards. And so from a mental health counseling perspective, I can share with you this. And that is, a lot of the individuals that I help, a lot of the individuals that I work with, they've actually used those cards that they were dealt so well, not always, but oftentimes, so well, that they've won and they don't even realize it. And yet they're continuing to hold on to those cards or they're continuing to hold on to the mindset from those cards that it is blocking them from being able to use the new cards, the new blessings, the new life, the new opportunities in such a way they, that they can get back to winning, that they can get back to moving forward. And so I think that the biggest key in life is sometimes to realize that, hey, I had this set of cards. For better or for worse, this is what I got dealt. I played them the very best that I could play them. And it's now time to trade those in for a new set of cards. And I think you'll find if you kind of, my invitation to you is if you look at life through this framework, you may realize, hey, you know what? I was dealt a new hand of cards a long time ago. 
and I didn't even realize it. And that's okay. It's not your fault. If you've been playing with the old cards, even though you've got new cards, or if you've been playing the new cards with an old mindset, that's okay. My hope and prayer for you is that as you're listening to these words right now, you can start to consciously identify and realize that this past trauma, this past pain, this past hurt, you've played those cards well enough. And you now have an opportunity to play a new set of cards or to play the new set of cards that you already have with a totally new mindset. And so for those of you that have experienced trauma, for those of you that have grown up a, a difficult life, you, I want to empower you to know that you don't have to keep playing those cards and you definitely don't have to keep playing with that mindset of those old cards. That you can transform your pain into purpose. That you can transform your pain into power. That you can release, rewire, and be ready for that new life that you want. That new awesome set of cards. Those new straight aces or that new full house. You get to play those cards in a new mindset because you earned it and you deserve it. And you deserve to play life with those new cards and with that new mindset. So I hope that this episode adds value to your life. I hope that it is an invitation to stretch you outside of your comfort zone, to stretch you outside of your current mindset, to maybe start to look at your life as happening for you and not to you. I can't change your life. Only you can change your life. But what I can do is begin to help you look at your life through a different lens, through a different framework, through inviting you to provide different meaning to the circumstances that have occurred in your life. And as we can begin to do that, particularly with the painful memories, particularly with the trauma, when we, can, when we begin to realize that we don't need to keep playing with those cards and or the mindset of those cards... Our life has an opportunity to change in such a beautiful, quite honestly, dramatic and rapid way. I send you my love and light. This is Ryan Joseph Copiar connecting with you for another episode of Reconnect to Your Greatness. Please check out my website, www ryan copiar holistic healing.com or you can send me an email ryan at ryan copiar holistic healing.com love and light